What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I am trying KFC's new mac and cheese $5 fill-up bowl, okay? Now, this bowl, let me show, see it. Let me see, I got my KFC. You see it? And here's my bowl. So, with the KFC bowl, okay, this is, uh, I usually get the uh, mashed potato bowl. You know, it comes with the mashed potatoes, the corn, uh, the chicken and cheese. It's a really good bowl, guys. It doesn't cost a lot, um, but it's definitely like a like a meal in one kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? It fills you up, man, like immediately. So uh, I seen they came out with this new one that has the, the chicken and macaroni and cheese on it. Now, I was a little skeptical because, you know, you can't eat everybody mac and cheese, y'all. Y'all know how that is. So, I was like, you know what? But I want to try it. I want to see if it's really going to have the same impact on me as the original uh, KFC bowl does. You know what I'm saying? So, what better place to try it than with you guys? And who better to try it than your boy, Mr. Grub, right? So, we're going to jump in on this, guy so you guys can actually see. First things first. You know, first impressions are everything. So let's see what this presentation looks like. So here's it, so you guys can see it. Kind of give you guys a little glimpse. So you got the fried chicken, they put it on top. The mac, the, the mac and cheese is uh, has like three different cheeses on it. It's underneath. Um, so it's giving you the, the option of mixing it from the top you know to the bottom me personally i always prefer to have uh you know when i did it with the mashed potatoes i preferred the mashed potatoes to be on the top and the chicken underneath because it kind of keeps everything together with the with the chicken and it keeps it from being dry as well so when you're looking at this and it being on top you already know that it's dry right so that's the first thing that i would say uh um, kind of bothers me with it is i feel like you kind of you kind of setting the chicken up in a, in, a, in a sense to to not be as juicy as it could be or not be as flavorful as it can be because it's sitting on top you know what i'm saying true enough it's going to stay warm but it's going it, to it already gives off the first impression that it's going to uh be dry you know what i'm saying so the good thing is that's okay i got my water you know what i'm saying rinse down a little bit give myself a little room just in case the chicken is dry but i'm gonna go ahead and try this guys and let you guys know exactly how it is okay so here's the mac and cheese right it's cheesy um i actually thought especially from the the photo that uh it was gonna be darker look at that i want you guys to kind of get a look at this so you can see it so if you see it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's lighter. You know what I'm saying? It's like the cheese is actually darker um, than just the macaroni. You know what I'm saying? So that's a that's another thing to me. Um, I prefer it to be more cheesy. Yeah, they put it on top, but if you look at it, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no, no cheesy separation, really. So when I pick it up, you know what I'm saying? I kind of want that cheese, you know, stretch. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. Let's check it out. Put a little chicken on it as well, you guys. See that? Um, it's not bad. It's not bad, but you know, it's going. It's going like with the first thing I said, where you can't eat everybody mac and cheese. It's not bad, it's edible, but when you're used to homemade mac and cheese, especially if you're somebody like myself that cook, you know, can cook, you, you see what it's missing. It doesn't have a lot of seasoning to it. Um, it's very bland, and I understand 
from a business perspective, you can't go all heavy on the seasoning because, uh, especially based on your, your, your client base, you know what I'm saying? If you think about it, a lot of minorities go to Popeye's. Yeah, a few of them do go to KFC too. A lot of people like KFC too, but a lot of them go to Popeye's. You have a mixed and older crowd um, with KFC. I know a lot of older people like KFC. So a lot of older people can't do a lot of heavy seasonings and salt, you know, due to some medical conditions, you know, high blood pressure, things like that, high cholesterol. So I can understand why to a certain extent, but um, you really only taste like noodle, cheese, and chicken. You know what I'm saying? So there's really no seasoning in it. Uh, it, it, it does have uh, enough to fill you up just like the other bowl but it's not as tasty um, it's not as tasty as the original mashed potato bowl you know what I'm I, just, I feel like I'm just sitting here eating a side of macaroni and cheese uh, you know from the store basically so like I said it's not bad but um, if I had a choice to choose this or the mashed potato bowl it would be definitely the mashed potato bowl I have to say that for argument's sake So, if you guys, you know, um, are interested in trying it out, like I said, for the price of it, it's where I think it's worth trying it out, just to see if it's something you may like. You know, five dollars isn't much, you know, to try it out and see if it's something that you like. If you do, that's cool. You know what I'm saying this could be your meal to go. If not. They still have the original um, mashed potato bowl. So you can't go wrong either way. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to eat as much as I can. Because like I said, I'm bigger on the mashed potatoes than just eating all the mac and cheese. But it's not bad. So I'm going to eat as much as I can. I'll get back with you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Comment below. If you had it before, let me know what you think. You know what I mean? Uh, comment down below. Until next time, it's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.